Nathaniel McClaney was an African-American art critic here in Chicago and he just passed earlier this year. And he told me when I first met him, he says, the world doesn't really pay attention to what artists say out of their mouth. It pays attention to what collectors say. Nolan approached us about framing his photographs a few years ago. He had been to Africa and had been so impressed with the scenes that he saw and the people that he wanted to capture these special images. And he brought some of his photographs here for us to frame so that he could do some shows. He had orders for his photographs already. And as we've seen over the time, Nolan has a good eye for catching that special image that intrigues people. There's a interesting parallel I'll make to corporate America. And they used to say when someone was really filled with potential, they'd say he's on the fast track. I would say Nolan has that same potential. He's got a good eye. His work is crossover in terms of the things he photographs, everybody feels. He has been around the world and seen enough things to know the types of things that pull someone's spirit and touches the soul. I think the thing that I like about photography is the fact that you're able to capture uh, with one still image a moment in time that it happens the way it happens only the one time. And the fact that people are then able to see that and then feel uh, what you felt and experience what you experienced in that moment without a word spoken is absolutely awesome. Just to be able to use this gift, uh, photography, to be able to um, bring into uh, the homes and businesses and churches of people who are interested in culture, the experience that I've had as I travel around the world, I think is absolutely wonderful. The fact that uh, people are now recognizing what I do as, as fine art and appreciating it and valuing it is a wonderful, wonderful thing and I'm really grateful to God uh, for the ability. When we frame Nolan's work, we use custom materials. We use custom mats which are 98% acid free, so that means there won't be acid birds down the road in many years. We also use museum glass. It is glass that almost looks invisible on the art. You have very little reflection. It's the best possible glass available these days. And we use custom made molding that John cuts. We buy a length and then he cuts it to fit the individual piece. So the whole thing is custom made. It has a dust cover on the back. It comes with a wire and is ready to hang. One thing Nolan likes about his framing when we do it, he likes to use an eight ply mat, which gives deeper depth so that you have more space between the, the glass and the art to see it. He hand signs each mat. They are numbered. They are limited edition pieces. Being in the city, is beautifully reflected in the, the metal sculpture there. You see the buildings. Anytime anyone goes into Chicago on Lakeshore Drive, you're just in awe looking at the water, the sky, and the buildings. And Nolan has gotten, caught it very, very nicely in this piece with the trees also, because you don't tend to think of the trees so much in Chicago because of all the steel and stone and water but Nolan has a good eye. He's doing well with his photography and I certainly hope that he will continue to take pictures. 70 African-American artists from all over the country. You're the first to see this collection of original art. Nolan McCants and the photograph of the My approach to uh, eval of, of leading the jury in making decisions was that we have to, well, first, in making the selections, I think we had like somewhere like 400, somewhere between 400, 470 submissions. 
and uh, you, we have to look at those slides. It's a blind show. We don't see the names. Uh, we don't see the names of the, uh, of the artists and so forth. We're just looking at the slide. Go through by categories and then pick what you think is the best in each category. And then we take those ballots, we tabulate what comes out, that's the best. And that's how your piece got the best. And it was uh, uh, really reflective of the group, each individual juror looking at all the photography and saying, oh yeah, this is, this is the best one.